All right, Jake Juan. So here is your video. Hopefully this works. Um, and <clears throat> you'll be able to see everything and that'll be good for you to do. So as you can see, I'm in your, um, I'm in your algebra class. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in here to this, uh, test. Okay. Um, properties of exponents assessment. So it is a PDF. So like I said before, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to open it up. I mean, you're going to have to, you know, take a look at my video here. You're going to have to write down these problems um, on a piece of paper. Okay. And you're also going to have to write down, write the work um, in the, in the paper. All right. So just do it, man. Just do it and get it done. I'm taking the time, like I said, to do this video. So I want you to get a good grade on this assessment here. Okay. Um, here we go. So I'm going to open with this other app here, which is I can write on this. It's called Kami. You can also download this. Um, you don't uh, basically you don't really have to, but it is a pretty helpful app that you're able to write in um, if you want to. And I can if you have questions about that, actually, what I could do is I could help you. Um, hold on. Hopefully it's still recording there. Um, I could help you with getting this app here. Okay. 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 Yeah, I got it. All right. So, ah. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, we're gonna go over here. Um, I can help you get in this app if you really want to. Um, but for now, what we're gonna do, like I said, is I'm just gonna do some of these math problems. And let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. So here we go. So you're going to open this up. Okay. You're going to open this up and you're going to um, take a piece of paper, write down the problems and the work, and then you're going to pass this in. So here we go. So we have some exponents here. We have X to the sixth, okay, um, times X squared. So with exponents that are like this, um, if they're the same variable, so you have an X and an X, if they're the same variable, you just add them together. So literally you're going to write X to the sixth times X to the, to the second. Okay. So you have um, six plus two for the exponents. So literally this is as simple as it can be. You're going to have X to the eighth. And that's actually, <laughs> that's actually the answer. Okay. Um, let's do number four. Okay. So you have 3w to the 4th times 6w to the 2nd. So you have that 3 and the 6. Let's, time, let's multiply those. 3 times 6 is 18. Okay. And the w to the 4th, w to the 2nd, that's 4. Okay. So that's w. That's 4 plus 2. That's the 6th. Oh, I'm kind of going out of order here. That's okay. Um, now let's do number 2. Okay, here we go. So you have x to the 10th, y to the 4th, divided by x to the 3rd, y, right? Okay. So when you have them like this, you actually just subtract, <clears throat> you subtract the um, exponents. So you're going to have, you have 10, okay, minus 3, right? So you're going to have x um, to the 7th. And because that three gets taken care of, you know, you subtract it. Okay. Um, there's no, the, there's no, uh, nothing on the bottom anymore. There's nothing down here. So, um, we don't have to write anything down here. It's just X to the seventh up at the top. Okay. You would write something different. If that was a negative, if that was a negative exponent. You'd bring it to the bottom and I'll show you more about that, uh, later on. But um, for right now, you're going to have X to the seventh. Then you have four, right? And there's a little one here. They don't show it, but you have four minus one, right? That equals, oh, this should be equal seven. That equals three. So four minus one, um, your, your Y's are going to turn into three. Nope, oh, that's a horrible three. So, okay. 
Okay, so that's your answer here. All right, answer for number one is right here. For number two, okay, number four, okay. All right, now when you have an exponent out here like this, right, you just multiply everything, or you just, you just multiply the exponents. Okay, not everything. I'll show you a different problem. But that's going to turn into 8 times eight times 2, okay, and 3 times 2. So we're going to have A to the 16th, B to the 6th, okay? That's your answer. That's the answer there. Number 5, um, we should know any number or variable brought up to this 0 power here just equals 1. Okay, so if we have 5 to the 0, that equals 1. Okay, and boy, I got an update here. Okay, uh, 5 to the 0 equals 1. Um, 6 times 0 is 0, so S to the 0 equals 1, right? T to the 0 equals 1. Right? So basically, you have 1 times 1 times 1, and that also just equals 1. So literally, that's your answer. Don't just give Mr. Regal the answers, man. You got to, you got to, um, what do you call it? You need to really show your work. Okay? This one, this is kind of a trick question, number six. Okay? You don't really do anything except for the fact that because there's a negative five, you're just gonna bring it to the bottom. So you're gonna have, you're gonna keep nine and y squared over the top there. And you're gonna bring x to the fifth to the bottom. That's, like I said, that is literally your answer. Okay, all right, um, here we go. So we have negative 10, divided by five, that's gonna be a negative two. Now that negative thing, you only do you only do that negative thing for exponents, so that negative two is actually gonna stay at the top. You got seven, oh, hold on, can't really see it there. You got m to the seventh minus, uh, you got n to the seventh on the top, m to the fourth on the bottom, so you're just gonna do seven minus four, so that's gonna be m. Um, you're going to have m to the third, okay, n to the twelfth minus n to the tenth, so that's going to be n uh, squared, right, or n to the two, okay, so you just do 7 minus 4, 12 minus 10, and that's your answer, okay. Um, Oh, I should do a little bit of work over here too. So three times six equals 18 uh, four plus two equals six. What else? Oh, yeah, that equals eight. Um, all right, cool. So here we go. This Number number eight, you're just going to have a negative four up at the top here, okay? That J squared, okay, uh, comes down. That K to the seventh uh, does that. So that's that. All right, so let's do this. Now we have to distribute this two to everywhere, okay, to the four, to the six, to the seven. So that four squared, right? equals 16, so we have 16, right? Two times six, two times six equals 12. So we have C to the 12th, and then we have D seven times two equals 14, right? So that's only gonna be D to the 14th. Well, if you can see that, hopefully you write that a little bit better there. Um, don't make it as ugly as that. Okay. 
There we go. So that should be, ugh, that looks horrible. 16 to the 12th, D to the 14th, whatever, D to the 14th. Hopefully you can hear my voice. Okay, let's, that's it for number, for those. Those are pretty easy. Okay. All right. Well, for this one, um, you're going to do this part of the equation first because, honestly, you have to. Okay. Um, so you're going to just copy down 2A to the 5th, B, C to the 4th. Okay. So that you're going to do 2... 3 squared equals 9. Okay, so it's going to be times 9. Uh, that 2 times 1 is going to be A squared. 4, um, 2 times 4 is 8. And C, 8 times 2 is 16. Yeah, it's okay, Ash. I'm just making a video. Okay. Arms up. Okay. So two times, then we're going to do this. We're going to multiply it out. Two times nine. Okay. Two times nine is 18. Eight to the fifth. We're just going to add those up. A to the seventh. B. Got one here plus eight. Uh, is nine okay and then we're gonna have C four plus sixteen hey buddy so Zach make it a video by exponents all right cool so 18 a to the seventh B to the ninth C to the 20th that's the answer okay that's the answer there okay yeah Exactly. Okay, number 11. Once again, you got to do this part of the equation first because it's in parentheses. So we're going to do that first. Okay. So you're going to have um, 13x. He's in here. To the negative eighth. Y to the 12th. Uh, Z to the negative two. You know, let's try to make this a little bit thinner here. Okay. Now. We're going to have this times this in here, okay? So 9, remember, anything to the to the 0 power is 1. So 9 to the 0, that's going to be, that's going to be 1. Uh, X, 6 times 0, okay? Y, negative 2 times 0 is 0, okay? Z, uh, or Z to the 10th times zero is zero. So that's actually going to be, um, let's do this. 13 X to negative eight. Y to the 12th. Z to the negative two times. Remember this is one times one times one times one. They're all ones. Okay, so it's literally, literally one um, at the end there. But since we have this other part up here, okay, it's more than just one. This is just going to equal one over here. We don't have to really about, worry about that. So that just becomes one. We don't have to write any more about it. Um, but we are going to write this here, which is 13 is going to stay up at the top. 13. The x to the eighth comes down to the bottom because it has a negative exponent. The y to the twelfth stays up at the top. And then you have z squared. Okay. So that is your answer for this. Okay. That's it. Nothing else. All done. Okay. All right, so for this one, we're going to do this part of the problem first because we have some division here. So what's 24 divided by 6? 
That equals four. Okay, so we're going to have four. Okay, we're going to have eight minus, we've got to do eight minus three for the X's. So eight minus three is five. Okay. Y to the 13th minus Y to the seventh. So 13 minus seven, Y to the sixth. Okay. And now we have, and now we could do th times three X for Y to the third. Okay. So what's four times three? Four times three is 12, right? What's X to the fifth? Five plus four is, five plus four is nine. Okay, y to the sixth plus y to the third. So you got four, uh, five plus four, six plus three is also nine. <laughs> kind of hate it when teachers do that because you get like the same answer there. It's like x to the ninth, y to the ninth, and it's both nine. It's fine. Okay, here we go. Once again, we got to do this first because uh, we have some division in there. So... Negative three m to the sixth n to the negative five um, times um, m to the thirteenth n to the fourth divided by m to the negative two n to the negative nine. Well, here's that that that's kind of a tricky thing too. These twos and nine should actually be up there. So it's really m. Okay, to the 13th, so 13th minus negative 2, right? So we got 13 minus negative 2, which equals 15. You should write all this work down, even up here, this stuff too, okay? So then you got 4 minus negative 9, okay? So it's 4 minus negative 9, which is 15. Oh, my God, I hate it when it comes out like that, like I said before. That's fine. So we got M, we really have M to the 15th and N to the 15th. Now we just have to add them. So we have negative three. That just stays the same. M, right? Six, um, six plus 15, which is, so it's going to be M. Six plus 15 is 21. Okay, n, n, negative 5 plus 15 is 10. Okay, nah, that looks horrible. Okay, so that's our answer there. Okay, all right, there we go. Number 13, let's do this out. So we're going to have, we're going to distribute this here, right? Boom, boom, boom. So we're going to have 9 squared, which is 81, okay? A, negative 6 times 2, so A to the negative 12. B, 2 times 2 is 4. C, right, squared, times, now I got it, oh, man. Sorry. Okay. Um, okay. So two to the third power, two to the third power actually equals eight. So we're going to have eight, a to the third, b, three times three is nine, c, four times three is, oh, is that a negative? That's a negative 12, I think. Okay. So we have to do this here. So what's um, now we're going to have 8 or 81 times 8. What's 81? Oh, my God. What, oh, I'm going to write this over here. Um, what is 81 times 8? So that's going to be uh 64 so 6 648 i believe okay so we're going to do that 648 
Okay. Um, what's negative 12? Uh, I'm going to have to put a line over there. What's negative 12 plus 3, right? It's going to just turn into a to the ninth. Okay. What's b 4 plus 9? That's b to the 13th. C minus 12. Okay, C minus 12. Uh, for 2 minus 12, sorry, is 10. Okay, so this is your answer there. Okay. Um, all right, for this one, you got to multiply this out, okay? Okay, so it's going to be 3 to the 3 to the third, right? So that's going to be 3 to the third equals 27. Okay, 3 to the third is 27, so it's going to be 27. Okay. Uh, M to the fifth, M, 5 times 3, M to the 15th, N to the negative uh, 4, negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Okay. So this is going to be just going to keep negative 3m to the negative 12 and to the fifth right here. Okay. Um, 27 divided by negative 3, that's just negative 9. Okay. 15 divided, 15, the 15 minus negative 12, right? Remember, 15 minus negative 12, that just becomes a plus. That's going to be... 27 okay so it's gonna be m to the 27th and then negative 12 minus 5 negative 12 um minus 5 right okay is just going to be negative 12 minus 5 equals negative 17. So that means that that N is going to go on the bottom with 17. Okay. So there we go. That is that for that problem. Bonus question. Write this equation of the line shown in slope intercept form. Okay, fine. So you know your Y intercept, right? Because this is Y here. This is X here. You know your y-intercept is negative 2. It's right here. It's a. So it's, n, it's 0, negative 2. Okay. x is 0. Your y is negative 2. Oh, shoot. Negative 2. Okay. Your slope is actually negative right but it's hold on let's get rid of that because that was really ugly so oh okay so that is um down two over three right Rise over run. So that's going to be negative, negative two thirds. For the slope. Okay. Negative two thirds for the slope. Okay. And so our slope intercept form. Um, is y equals m x plus b. Okay, so this is going to be simple. So we're going to put this in for m and this in for b. And so your slope, your equation is going to be y equals negative two oops, thirds x minus two. And that is your answer. All right, man. I can't stress this enough. 
show your work for these problems. You don't have to watch old video. You can go to the end, which is here now, but um, show your work, man. Show your work, okay? That's what I try to do here. I try to show you as much work as possible doing this uh, test, okay? Make sure you pass it in tonight, too. It is due tonight. All right. Peace. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, bye.